Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing a brand new item. And this is from the new Transformers Authentics Bravo Wheeljack. And, and there are, there's going to be another figure. Sorry if I had to correct myself. There's going to be another figure in this Authentics Bravo wave. I am still waiting on. And it's going to be Transformers Authentics Bravo RC. And I can't wait to get that for my collection. Because I never picked up Earthrise RC or... Studio Series RC yet. But yeah, this is a good looking wheel jack. I like the box artwork and how he looks in car mode on the packaging. You got transformation steps on the box. Ain't that neat. It shows you how to transform it on the box in the car and bot mode. Nice. And his shoulder cannon can be a blaster if you want it to be. And it's a nine step transformer. So let's put the box off to the side because we're done with the box itself. Now we're going to look at Wheeljack himself. Look at that paint. Look at that sculpting. This is a good looking figure. And I'm so glad to have this finally in my Transformers collection. Because man, this looks just like G1 Wheeljack. But now for comparison in vehicle mode. Here is... Authentic Bravo Wheeljack next to my Transformers Cyberverse Wheeljack. Well, the other comparisons will be for in bot mode, but before we do that, it rolls. Like everything else Hasbro makes, it rolls. But now we're going to transform this figure, shall we? Let's. First, we're going to loosen up the legs, like so. Disconnect the arms, like so. Very simple, and his wing popped out, his his door wing popped out. Then we're going to turn this around, rotate to reveal the robot mode chest, flip up his iconic G1 head, connect his head to his backpack, flip around his shoulder cannon, And yeah, they have it on this shoulder, particularly, but I like mine on this shoulder for reasons. We're going to disconnect his feet like so, which can be a little bit stubborn work because, man, this joint is really tight on my copy. Whip out the feet, reconnect the door wing, like so, flip them like that, fold up Push up the shoulders, and there you got good old Wheeljack in his robot mode. And this is a cool looking Wheeljack. I have no nitpicks about it whatsoever. Trick is trying to get the tabs to connect with one another, but otherwise, a good looking Wheeljack. I love the paint. I love the sculpting. This figure is downright awesome. And I just love this figure now. Oh, it's so cool. But now for some bot mode comparisons. we we'll look at our articulation. Here he is next to my Transformers Earthrise Wheeljack. Of course, with my original Transformers Prime Wheeljack. Why not? They're they're both Wheeljack. And finally, One Step Changer, Cyberverse Wheeljack. You're probably wondering, how many Wheeljacks do I own now? Well, four. I don't have a lot of these. But yeah, here is Cyberverse One Step Wheeljack. Well, now we're going to look at articulation. Arms are on a ball joint. You can do a full 360. Arms are on a ball joint, so you get some good movement out of them which is nice. And yes, things will pop loose if you're not careful about it. 
ankle is on a bend, no hinge. We got some ankle tilt, ain't that nice for a new brand figure, huh? Bend at the knee, really cool. Otherwise, a good looking figure. And you're probably wondering, why do I have this rifle? Well, I'm gonna display him with it because it reminds me of his shock rifle. He could be like, be like Decepticons. Have a taste of my shock rifle. And he didn't look cool without a weapon to hold, so yeah. Would I recommend this guy if you're a Wheeljack fan as much as I was when I first watched Transformers Generation 1? Yes. I never collected any of the G1 variants of Wheeljack, except for these variants of Earthrise and the Cyberverse and the Prime. But this guy was on top of my list to pick up. If I ever find G1 Wheeljack, it would make my day. But other than that, this is a good looking figure and it cost me about $10. That's how much these figures cost, $10 in store. And I got this from DG for 10 bucks. Is an Authentics Bravo Wheeljack worth adding to your Transformers collection? Yes, he is worth the money. And I'm looking forward to get in the RC to complete my wave. And that's all there is to say for this video. And it's Steady Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.